If I give you a differential equation, you guys remember differential equations? I took that class at one time. If I give you a differential equation, uh, du, which is a function of t, times a constant a times u of t with some initial conditions. So where u uh, of 0 equals u0, right? so u at time t, t equals 0 equals u0. What's the solution to that equation? You all solved this equation in, in different equations. Or if you don't know the solution, how would you go about solving it? Yeah, you can actually, this one you can separate, right? You can multiply by dt on both sides and divide by u and then integrate, right? You can do, work it out that way. You could also use method of undetermined coefficients. You could also use Laplace transform. You guys remember doing all that kind of stuff? Even if you don't maybe remember all the details. And this is exactly why I'm going to tell you what I'm about to tell you. You don't have to remember the details of any of those methods. <clears throat> this is one equation where you probably should just memorize the solution to it, because it's the most common differential equation. So anybody know, can you tell me what the solution is? I know when I write it down, you're going to remember it. So the solution is u of t is equal to e to the a t times u0. Everybody remember that? And it's obvious if you use your method of separating, right? Because over on the left, you're going to have 1 over u du. And then you're going to integrate both sides. It's going to give you a natural log, right? Then you want to get rid of that natural log. You take both sides of the equation with the e power. And then that's exactly how you're going to get, <coughs> get that solution, OK? All right, so that's one you probably should just remember, memorize, right? You never have a function du. Uh, dt equals a the ut. The solution differential equation is e to the at. How many of you plan to take the FE one day or become professional engineers one day? I'm a professional engineer. If you take the math, or you're going to take the math part of the FE exam and later the principles of practice exam, you're going to have to know the solution to that differential equation. It's like the most common one. Okay. So. We know the solution of the most common differential equation. What if I wrote, or what if I gave you a system of differential equations? dv dt is equal to 4v minus w, or I'm sorry, minus 5w uh, dw dt is equal to 2v minus 3w. And I guess I need to give you some initial conditions. So v at 0, we'll say, is equal to 8. w at 0 is equal to 5. Okay. Or I could, this is just a system of differential equations, right? I could write this system of differential equations like this, right? could write a vector du dt, dw dt is equal to 4 minus 5, 2 minus 3, u, w. Uh, now, my initial conditions over here I'll call u0, and that's equal to 8 and 5. And I'm just going to rename this d vector u dt, and I'm going to rename this a, and I'm going to rename this vector u. What is the solution to that differential equation? Now it's a system. I'm sorry, what is the solution to that system of differential equations? Well, Look at the similarities, right? Just there I had a scalar u. Here I have a vector u. There I had a, a constant a. Here I have a matrix a. Right? So if this is the solution to that equation, what do you think the solution to that one is? Let's just guess. How about, how 
how about the solution, the vector solution, u of t is equal to e to the matrix A t times the vector u0. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the solution. By the way, that's the solution to every linear ordinary differential equation with initial conditions. So you can forget all of that Laplace transform stuff, all of the method, all those other stuff you learned. All you have to do is do that, e to the at. Now the problem is computing e to the at. Computing e to the at is not as simple as just taking e, taking the e power, you know, e to the 2t, e to the minus 3t, e to the 4t. That's not, that's not how you take e to the at. Um, it turns out I can, I can take my matrix A and I can decompose it into its eigenvectors. So a matrix of, of its eigenvectors. This is meant to imply the two eigenvectors like we solved for times a matrix of its eigenvalues on the diagonal. times the inverse of the matrix of the eigenvectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this a matrix Q. I'm going to call this a matrix capital lambda. And I'm going to call this Q inverse. So in other words, A is equal to Q lambda Q inverse. And then, then what I can do is I can actually say E to the AT is equal to Q E to the lambda T Q inverse. And the benefit of writing it this way is that E to the AT uh, is equal to Q. Now, uh, this, when you have a diagonal matrix, it's literally just e to the to the diagonal power. Let's see. It's like that. So we we already solved for our eigenvalues, right? So What we can do is all right, A was four minus five two three and Q Again, it's just a matrix that contains the eigenvector. So the first eigenvector was 1, 1, and the second eigenvector was 5, 2, right? Huh? 5, five 2. You're saying our, uh, our A matrix at a minus 3, yeah, right here. Um, all right, so that was Q. And then we also had, we, we solved for lambda already. So let's go ahead and make our, what was, they were, it was minus one and two, right? Those were our two eigenvectors. So we'll do minus one, zero, zero, two. Right, so the first thing I would do is just show you that that decomposition works, right? So if I do Q times lambda times inverse Q, I should get back A. And I don't. What I, what I do wrong? Oh, this is just, uh, just the, the notation in Mathematica. Uh, I actually need to take its transpose. Yeah. 
So there we go. So I get back A, right? So the, the decomposition works, right? We, we solved for Q and lambda by hand. So then I'm just, I'm just verifying that if I take Q times lambda times Q inverse, I get back A, and that happens, okay? So then the solution to that system of differential equations I wrote down is just Q to, to um, well, let's first, let me just show you. The, the matrix exponent of lambda T is just, like I said, right? It's just e to the lambda power, right? In this case, minus 1t, 2t. Okay. So then if I just multiply q dot q, uh, inverse q, I get that. And you know, just to verify, I can actually just take the matrix exponent of a in mathematica, of course. And we see that those two are equal. Right? And the difference is, like, we, we could have done this by hand, right? Because we can all take e to the lambda power by hand, and then we then it's just multiplying two by two matrices together, which we can do easily, right? So then the full solution, so this is the solution, and then we just have to multiply by the vector of initial conditions, which I said was eight and five, right? So if I multiply by the vector of initial conditions, eight and five, um, then that's the solution to the system of equations. Now, so that, that's the solution to that, that different system of different equations I wrote down. And we, while I use Mathematica to sort of do the algebra, the matrix algebra, we could have easily done that by hand. We're just multiplying two by two matrices. And again, just for your knowledge, how do you know that, well, if you don't use Mathematica, you don't know, but I mean, you know you can, Mathematica can solve differential equations in closed form. So let's just use its own differential equation solver. I'm going to say V prime of T is equal to 4 times V of T minus 5 W of T. W prime of T is equal to 2 V T minus 3w of t. And then I got to put the initial conditions in. So v at 0 is equal to 8. v at w at 0 is equal to 5. And just tell it what I'm going to solve for. I want to solve for uh, v of t and w of t and the independent variable is t. Uh, it simplified it in an odd way, but you can probably see uh, these two. That is equivalent to that. Well, let me see if I can simplify the first one, see if that works. Yeah, there we go. So this was our essentially hand computation, right? This was Mathematica's D solve. So we can all solve any, if you can do an eigenvalue problem, you can solve any li linear system of ordinary differential equations when you're given the initial conditions. The initial, so like the, you know, the, 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 at time t equals zero, you know the function and its derivative or whatever. 